what's up Flitz fans, it's Scott here from Team Flitz. I'm at the awesome Explorium Brew Pub in now downtown Milwaukee with the owner, the founder here, Mike Doble. Hey man. Thanks so much for having us out again. My pleasure, love having you. Man, it's been three years since we last sat down and talked. I know, you've, um, I know you've seen me at the bar yep. a few times, drinking some of these award-winning beers, man. Awesome the, stuff. Yeah, thanks man. Yeah, no, it's been, in three years a lot's happened. Um, this place, we opened this place just about three years ago, and uh, you know we have a lot, a lot of stainless and a lot of uh, you know you can see behind us stainless faucets and whatnot. And you know we love the products; we're a big supporter and uh, love using them. So uh, I'd love to show you around, see what, show you what we're doing with them. I appreciate it. And thanks again for you know keeping Flips on board. So I know last time we talked, you were up in the air about having another location. And now, man, this place, it's, again, it's just beautiful. Yeah, what, thank you. What made you come down to downtown Milwaukee? So, uh, so we're, we're here in the historic Pritzloff building, Pritzloff Hardware Company. And this, this space was historically this big hardware company. Um, where our brew pub is now was the receiving warehouse. And it was used as an event space for a long time. And during the pandemic, the owner of this building came to me and said, you know, hey, I really love your brand. I've been to your place at Southridge and I have a spot downtown that I think you'd really love and, and whatnot. So long story short, I came down and looked at it and it was, I couldn't say no. Um, so that was in, uh, it started in about February and March of 2020. We signed a deal on this and really kind of took our time to build it out right, make it look great. I wanted a ton of shelf space for all the liquors and that we like to collect and show off. Um, and you know what? We have to, it's a brew pub, we have to have a brew house. So I put a brew house in here. Um, really the same system that's at Southridge, uh, we just doubled it up. So it really doubled our capacity um, to produce beer, which is great because uh, we do sell a lot of beer out in the market. So yeah, this has been great. And for three years it's been building um, and we're really in a good spot right now. Really nice. Well, it's Again, it's just such a beautiful place and you know, it's just a little bit different than the other place. So do you guys do different beers here or do you serve the same at both? You know, I know I'm always looking through your beer menu all the time. Right, you're always finding the new stuff, and I, I love that. Um, so we do we do brew different beers at both locations. Um, all of the core stuff you're used to, like the Captain Kid IPA, the Damn That's Good IPA. Well, um, cheers, cheers, man. Let's, let's cheers. Try to make sure it tastes good. Mm. Nine o'clock in the morning, I'm loving it. Perfect. Um, but, uh, but all the core stuff that is consumed heavily at both locations are brewed at each location. But each of the brewers at each spot has a different personality. Um, my brewer down here has, um, has a knack for sour beers. So we have our sour program based here. And when I say sours, I'm talking about the, um, uh, the wild ale type sours. So we have a lot of barrels downstairs with different strains of wild yeast that are producing you know, cool flavors in, in beers. But um, generally clean brewing and sour brewing don't go together. So we've isolated that here and kind of have a really great system. Um, we have a lot of space here. Um, but uh, specialty beers are generally brewed at each location and we swap kegs. So if you know a brewer comes up with an idea, brews the beer at Southridge, we want to put it on tap here, we'll just bring some kegs down. But in general, um, all the core stuff is brewed at each location and it's, it's kind of fun. I've challenged you know, mug club members and whatnot to go downtown and try the damn that's good and you know, maybe buy, uh, buy a crawler of it and go to Southridge and try them side by side because they're indistinguishable. Um, our guys are that good. That's so. awesome. And one thing I didn't know, uh, recently I stopped at your other location and I was with a friend and she doesn't drink beer. And she made a comment, she's like, I don't drink beer because I have gluten problems. And you told me, uh, as well as your lovely wife, Joan, that all your beers are gluten free and yeah, so um, through process, we remove the gluten from all of our beer. Um, the story is, and what actually happened is while we were, Joan and I were getting ready to open this brew pub, I spent about a year dialing in recipes and brewing a ton of beer, and we were drinking a ton of beer. And during that time, more and more, she was getting more and more problems, you know, digesting the gluten. And eventually to the point where she went and saw the doctor, and the doctor's like, hey, you just got to cut it out. Your body can't handle it. So 
really, here's this, you know, gal that's opening a brew pub with me and she can't drink the product, right? So we spent a lot of time, it actually took me about a year and a half to figure it out, but we found an enzyme that'll break the gluten down. So we make our beers the same way we did before, but we add the enzyme and it breaks down the gluten. And now people that have gluten issues can drink our beer. I mean, we, um, across the board, all of our beers, seltzers, um, everything we make is, does have the gluten removed and Joan can drink the beer freely without any issues. I have friends who are celiac who drink our beer without issue. Um, so it's great. It's kind of it's kind of fun because we don't put that out front. Um, we don't advertise that up front. But usually, if somebody mentions something like your friend, um, we let them know. Hey, maybe you should try it. You know, try a little bit and see it. See if you're you might be sensitive. But um, most people find out that they can drink our beer. And one thing about me is, I I'm always love trying the different beers. I'm sort of beer snob that way and. I would have never guessed until you told me. Yeah. And I've told other people and they're like, really? Wow, I never knew. And and that friend I know has been back now to your location multiple times. That's awesome. So uh, And that was that was always always our goal to be able to open it up for people to try it, but the regular beer snobs like yourself, um, not to notice the difference. And that's the that's the amazing thing about adding the enzyme during fermentation is that it doesn't change the flavor of the beer. But one thing you will notice, you won't get as bloated drinking our beer as you will at other places that don't remove the gluten. Um, I, I feel a lot of when I drink a lot of beer, um, but I don't get the same when I drink a lot of my own beer. So that's good. I'll probably have about four or five here before I leave, <laughs> so I won't be bloated. Um, Cheers so, to that. <laughs> so coming back to uh, your place, you know, you got a lot more stuff being in the open area. Uh, I want to show you a new product that we came okay. out with. Um, it's a ceramic. Uh, product. Oh, nice. That will seal and protect. And I know your other location, a lot of stuff's behind the walls. Where this being in an open air, I'm sure you get a little more dust. And, and we got a lot more dust here. Um, the the splashes and some of the some of the stuff that we don't clean up right away is much more noticeable because the whole brew house is wide open. And I'm sure you know later on in this video, see how wide open it is. And um, I, I'm excited to try some of the newer stuff. I know last time we tried, uh, there was like a salt based yep. polish that we used, yep. um, and that worked phenomenally well. And the shine lasted a while um, but I'm excited to see the new yeah, stuff yeah we did the metal pre-cleaner uh, and you got all those drip marks on the tanks and being so hot and yeah we cleaned that off and then we did a little of the polish on there too and yeah. uh, we'll do a little bit more with the polish and clean up a couple spots that's more visible to the eye of uh, your customers um, the other thing I, I just wanted to go back to um, we're in October right now, and I, uh, I, had, I was thinking. Um, so, what else is new coming up? Uh, any new beers or anything for us? Um, we got a. We have our whole series of Milwaukee County stouts that are coming out, and that's kind of our focus this time of year. Um, our our Gordland is our seasonal pumpkin ale. Um, that uh, is out right now but and it's selling super fast we only made a limited amount so now we're focused on Milwaukee County Stout so over the next three to four weeks my brewer is gonna be super busy getting our Milwaukee County Stout out of barrels cold and carbonated into cans and then we do our big Black Friday release every year of that beer and uh, super popular um, you got to show up early to get it and uh, it's a lot of fun we have a good party and you know we'll walk around giving people coffee and donuts and that's a lot of fun yeah, if you haven't tried this beer before um, it's a bigger boulder beer and with these Wisconsin winters uh, you need something a little bit uh, warmer in your system that that's definitely one of them so um, before we end up here and we Take our walk around. I got to ask you one question: Is there going to be exploring number three? Um, there's a distinct possibility that'll happen. Um, I got to build up the energy and uh, time for that. <laughs> it's 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 a lot of work to get one of these off the ground, and uh, but I'm always looking. Um, if the right opportunity came along, you know, I'd definitely jump on it. Sounds good. Well, let's hit uh, hit the floor and uh, clean up some stuff. Cheers, man. Cheers. Good to catch up. Thanks. So one of, our, one of our biggest problems is these refrigerated draft lines, when it gets really humid in here, it beads up sweat, right? So then it gathers dust and then it leaves spots. And so now when it's dry, it's just kind of dusty and looks, so every morning we're having to come in here, repolish and re-clean them. So you have a solution. Um, I got Jan, my draft tech. And, uh, hey Jan. Good morning. Hey, nice being you. Good to meet you. So I'd love to see what it can do. Sure. So 
So it's your, it sounds like you're the guy that's going to be doing this. Most likely. Uh, I'll give you a little quick demo on it, and I'll let you give it a try. I'll do this side, you do that side. How does that sound? Perfect. So this is our stainless steel cleaner. It's a water-based cleaner to greaser. Um, the one thing that makes this a little bit unique is it's being water-based. A lot of the products that are out there on the market today are oil-based, and what Mike was just saying, this collects so much dust and dirt. Obviously, if you have oil in it, it's going to cling to it even more. This product won't do that at all. So, show you real fast. Let's take a little bit of this. It's all eco, green friendly. Spray it right on. Grab yourself a microfiber and watch this. Within seconds. Outstanding. All those drip marks that we saw and that dust and dirt and grime, gone. Just that quick. With just a few quick, easy swipes. Now, once we got this done, I want you to feel this, Jan. Can you see it? Okay. It feels clean, yeah. I guess, compared to the other side. Um, Absolutely. The, the one thing that, when you do that too, you don't notice any fingerprints at all because, again, it's a water based product, it's not oil based product. So you don't have to worry about that. Or, you know, when the people are working here, anything splashes up, it comes off a lot easier. Next step, we make another product called stainless steel polish and protectant. What this product will do for you is it'll keep that showroom shine and that luster, but what it also does is protects it against water spotting and fingerprints even more okay. so than what the cleaner will. So again, quick and easy, spray a little bit on. Don't have to let this set up or dry and just buff it right in and buff it right off. Now, once you got this done, I want you to feel that. Oh, night and day difference. Super Even slippery and slick. Absolutely. Makes it a lot easier for cleaning and maintenance. And the one thing with this product is it lasts up to three months. So obviously this is a, a working tap room. It might not work for three months, but you know, at least give you a good month or so off of it. So. Absolutely. But I'll let you do the rest and, uh, and we'll see how it goes for you. Beautiful already. And there's your polish and protectant. Give it one more go. So what do you think? Literally, it just took a couple seconds. Do you think the guys will be able to do this and gals quick enough and easy enough? For a night and day difference, absolutely. So we'll get keep going on this and um, keep walking around here and see what else we can clean up. We just polished out this little spot here for you. Um, give you a quick idea what the polish does. I know you've seen it before, but the product I was talking about is a newer product for us. It's a ceramic coating. Okay. And with everything, you know, being in the open like it is here right now, I think this is really going to help you out. Cut down on the dust and the dirt and, and keep it nice and shiny like this. So it's a really quick, easy product. All you want to do, take a little bit of it, do a quick little mist, and I'm going to do half and half, and I'll let you see if you notice the difference at all. But take this and just buff it in. Again, literally it just takes seconds to do and just buff it right off. But what I want you to do is feel that and feel this area once. Oh, wow. No, yeah, that's like, that's, there's, I can feel the drag on here and this is just slick. Yeah, so that's gonna help cut down on the dust, the dirt. And then as you notice all these water spots and everything, right. once we get this all polished up really well, that's really going to help eliminate a lot of that for you guys too. So All right. I think uh, I think it'll make your brewmaster really really happy. When That's you're awesome. Back here. And so will this will this just let water bead off then? Yes. As soon as you get a little water on there, watch this. 
Oh wow. So when that gets opened up and that water's in it, you can see where we haven't done yeah, it. Yeah, where it where it hasn't happened. Yeah, yeah. It just rolls right off. Wow, that's awesome. So, that's amazing. We'll get to work on this. We'll clean it up a little bit more and hope you like the results. That's awesome. Let's do it. Thank you.